Hello, I'm Wiki Bear. What's your name? Conan O'Brien. Conan Christopher O'Brien, American talk show host and two-time host of the Emmys? Wow, cool. I'm surprised you knew that. I can answer any question you have. I'm Wiki Bear. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, Wiki Bear, what's the only pop song to ever hit number one on the charts two different times? Checking now. <laughs> You're thinking of The Twist by Chubby Checker. It was number one in 1960, then again in 62. The song was so catchy, it's what people today would call an earworm. Yay! Oh, that's absolutely right. That's cool. You know, one worm you wouldn't want in your ear is the filaria worm. It's a parasite that attacks your lymphatic system and can cause massive swelling, including elephantitis of the genitals. Yay! <laughs> Okay, Wiki Bear, that's cool, but no, kids don't want to talk about that. That's so... Oh, but they should. Imagine the humiliation of people constantly pointing at your scrotum and accusing you of shoplifting two butterball turkeys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Come back here, turkey thief. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. No one, no one wants to think about that, Wiki Bear. But on the plus side, with beanbag-sized testicles, you'll always have a comfortable place to sit. I'm Wiki Bear. Okay, let's change the subject. Couple Wiki... squat, kids. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Let's change the subject. What's the name of the furry little creature that befriends the baby elephant in the Walt Disney cartoon Dumbo? That would be Timothy Q. Mouse, who helped Dumbo learn how to fly. Woo! Yeah, okay. That is absolutely right. You know who else tried to teach a bunch of Dumbos to fly? The leader of the Heaven's Gate religious cult. <laughs> who told his followers that they could all fly away from Earth on a spaceship by committing mass suicide. <laughs> Woo, yay religion. Okay, no, no. <laughs> depressing, that's depressing. When the police found their bodies, they were all wearing matching black t-shirts and brand new Nike basketball shoes. Kudos to Nike on great product placement. No, no, no. <laughs> Nike was not happy about that, I'm sure. So remember, kids, if you're thinking of joining an apocalyptic cult, follow Nike's advice and just no, do no, it. No, 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 no. Oh, they're charismatic no. leaders. No, 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 no. Don't question their leadership. Why? <laughs> We really need to find something more appropriate for kids. How about this? Uh, okay, this is nice. What's the name of the collectible toy cars manufactured by Mattel? The toy Hot cars Wheels. Hot yeah, wheels. they were called Hot Wheels, yes. First introduced in 1968, these tiny hot rods soon became even more popular than their competitor, Matchbox Cars. Vroom, vroom! Okay, that's right, and I'd forgotten all about that. That's cool. Speaking of hot rods, are you familiar with mechanophilia, the sexual fetish for people who are sexually attracted to machines like cars and bicycles? No, 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 no. I, I don't know about that, and I do not want to know about that. It's all true. One mechanophiliac, an American gentleman named Edward Smith, claimed to have had sex with over 1,000 cars. Talk about blowing some gaskets. Oh. I'm <laughs> All right, that's it. We're d that's fine. You know, Conan, I'm technically a machine in case anyone out there wants to give me a charge. Here's a tip. I only take size D batteries. And by D batteries, I mean huge penises. Oh, for God's sake. No, we're good. No, we're good.